model of consistency is quite the spectacle in Crestwood. And for more on South Oldham High School, here's their football preview on Glycod.com. Another season yielded a district championship for Jamie Reed's crew, the program's eighth in nine years. The 22 group is highlighted by a trio of senior rushers, all of whom will be counted on to replace 1,000-yard back Kyle Smythe. As a unit, South produced 220 yards per on the ground last fall, a continued staple of Dragon success. Jack McCubbin highlights the incumbents. The 6-foot, 180-pounder powered for 600 yards and 10 scores while registering 42 stops at linebacker, second most amongst returnees. As a change of pace, Jeffrey Burton ventured for nearly 400 yards with three TDs, while Luke Oliveros oozes in versatility. The running back DB combo boasted 46 touches, including 17 grabs and four all-purpose touchdowns. Senior Wyatt Fowler is a likely replacement for Thomas Moore signee Devlin McGee at quarterback. Aside from McCubbins, DJ Jacobs, Sam Reagan, and Nathan Hale figure prominently on defense. But a sophomore, Jacobs has the looks of the next great dragon with his 46 stops and two takeaways just a harbinger. Reagan and Hale combined for three picks in the secondary and some 80 tackles with a former moonlighting as kicker where he connected on 88% of extra points. Brashear anchors both lines and has already drawn FCS praise from Murray amongst others. The Rock solid read is back for year 13 in Crestwood where he's won at a 73% clip as one of the area's most respected. And the docket features a top-heavy schedule with hostings of Cal followed by Ballard two weeks post. The week five tilt opposite OC has all the makings with the Dragons trying to avenge their first loss in 11 matchups. That's a glimpse at South Oldham and Nick Curran on the docket tomorrow from Ballard as he'll take a look at that strong Bruin defense. For Glycod.com, I'm Chris Labar and thanks for watching.